Hey guys, so as you know, a lot of us in Winter Haven already lost power, and the storm is not even here yet. Like, I, I want to show you this. Look at 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 this shit. I feel like Kevin Hart. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. That's the strongest that we have, and yet we've already lost power. I'm sure there's a good reason for that. Uh, a, a transformer exploded outside of our house. But then, we have no Sprint. I contact Sprint, and they're like, well, it's because of the hurricane. Yeah, we're in Central Florida. It's not that bad out here. Um... And then they said, well, you know, it's because the whole city or the whole state's down. No, it isn't. Well, you know, because of the inconvenience, we're going to waive your overage charges. I'm on limited everything plan. There are no overage charges. So right now, this is what I get. And hopefully this not only this isn't really a tip to be safe, but to not be bored as shit during the hurricane. So just so you know, right now, we've got the generator running. The exhaust is actually going outside of the house. But we try to keep this door closed because you can really smell the fumes a little bit in there. Uh, we've got carbon monoxide detector in the house too to be safe. So one of the things you guys have to remember is that hurricanes run on 12 volt, not hurricanes, excuse me. Ha, ah, geez, I'm reading out your comments. Uh, everything in your house runs for the most part on 12 volt power. At least everything that you need. Uh, other than USB devices that run on five volt power. But obviously, once the hurricane hits in, your windows should be closed, all of them. All your doors should be closed, which gives the problems for circulation. Start finding all of your fans like this. Every single fan that you have, like this right here, usually runs on 12 volts. And you can tell by looking at your power inverter and see if it runs on 12 volts. If it's a five volt fan, you can wire it to a USB. I'll go over that in just a second. But what I did is I have a whole bunch of these power supplies to fit this, and I've already cut them in half, just to get the cables out. Those power supplies, or those uh, fans, will be wired to this guy right here. So this one is, oh, what is it? I want to say it's a, it's ridiculous because they're 350 cold cranking amps. So the battery on here is about a, uh, I think 6,000, uh, or excuse me, it's a three point, yeah, 35,000 milliwatt hour. So this will run a fan for an indefinite amount of time. Uh, John, no, the power was shut down uh, because of transformer blue. They already said they were not going to shut down power anywhere. So anyhow, we've got this guy charging. This is a 12-volt system, and this is going to power all of our 12-volt devices. That also includes our 12-volt to 5-volt converters, so we can charge our USB devices and so forth. But there's also already one built in, so I already have a USB splitter, so I could even do that. Then we've got the Black & Decker Electromate 400. Those of you that are wedding DJs are very aware of this unit, thanks to the great Cap Capello. It does have 120 volt out. One of the things that you may want to think about is, again, if you do want to have internet so you're not bored out of your mind, is to just plug this guy, which right now is running on the generator, and have it running off this. However, when you're converting 12 volts to 120, or excuse me, 120 to 12 volts, which is what's going on in there, you lose some energy to heat. So right now, whenever you have stuff normally running in your house, you've got 120 out because that is in kill Tesla and it gets converted to 12 volts inside here. When I have that being plugged in here, we're converting a 12 volt battery to 120 volts. So we lose a lot of energy because of heat. Then you're converting that 120 back into 12. So you lose even more heat. So cut the middleman out. I am not recommending you do this unless you know what you're doing. But when it happens to us, I'm gonna open this up here. There's a power supply right here, and I really shouldn't be saying this because I'm sure Spectrum will use this against me, but if you have your own modem, it's a little bit easier anyways. There's a 12 volt converter in here. Bypass that and wire directly into here. It's a 12 volt device, go into a 12 volt device, make sure that you have some sort of cap or something to, uh, if you do have a low voltage, it's not gonna fry your system. If you don't know what the hell you're doing, then you just wire it straight to that. Now, this one does not have the battery built in, but based on the math that I was doing earlier, I should be able to get about 48 hours of this powering my modem. So you're good there. So that's uh, trick number one. Again, everything in your house runs in 12 volts to some degree, unless it's a microwave, which by the way, microwaves, generators, don't do it. I completely forgot that the uh, frequency won't match. Um, but as far as your fans, not these fans, the smaller fans, all those are 12 volts. So for those of you tuning in, what we bought is we bought these really kick-ass fans from Brookstone. 
They were two for 40 bucks, and man, they blow some really nice cool, uh, air out of here. So this is a 12-volt fan. So I'm just going to snip that power supply there. You can even see right there, there's a 12-volt rating, maybe. Okay, well, you should see a 12-volt right there. I'm going to snip that, and that is going to be wired straight to this guy right here. If you do not have one of these. There's a very good chance you've got two vehicles and you're not going to be using one of them. We've got a third one in the garage. We're taking the battery out of that and that is going to also be used to supply lighting or whatever we need. Uh, for example, if I didn't have the generator, I have this guy here which has a built-in battery, but the battery only lasts for a couple hours. So if I need additional light, again, this is, let's actually see what this converts to. I don't think this is 12 volt, but it should be fine. Oh, yep, look at that. 12 volts AC to 12 volts DC at 4 amps. So I could, again, if I felt froggy enough, there's a power cord in here. I can order another power, one of these on eBay, but if I need a battery last minute, I can just wire this straight to a car battery. This is one of the things that a lot of people uh, don't realize, and Rob just said it as well. Most electronics convert the power from AC to DC. If you pass a straight DC to DC line, your stuff is going to last a lot longer because you're not losing things to heat or power to heat. Again, when you convert 120 volts uh, AC from 12 volts DC, you lose a lot to heat. That's why these electronic devices get hot because there's a lot of conversion going on and gone in between. If you don't believe me, go touch your laptop power adapter. That heat is created from energy, and that's energy wasted. There's no such thing as a 100% efficient power supply. So, you know, unfortunately, um, Apple is going to be the tough one on this one. If you want to keep your Apple devices charged, this is where the 2016 Mac Pro is actually a really good idea because you could charge with a USB-C. So, like, I have my Switch. I'm going to keep myself entertained with my Nintendo Switch, but I can charge that with a regular USB charger. This guy here comes out. I don't know what the hell it comes out. Let's look here. Output is 18.5 volts, so you could technically wire this to a car battery, which is only 12 volt. It'll trickle charge your computer better than nothing. Uh, and I do have a couple of these spare ones, so I may cut one up real quick and have it ready to go. I also have my miniature projector. Again, tips on keeping yourself entertained during a hurricane, because if you're entertained, your mind's not going to wonder. So you have the little miniature projectors from Bookstone. I also have my Ultimate Ears... Uh, wireless speaker so i just have this guy i hooked this up to my ipad or my iphone there's a super bright image by the way that's in the middle of the day i've got a super bright image so i can watch tv it's got a built-in battery that will let me probably watch one or two movies and again this guy is uh 12 volts dc so snip snip and we will wire that directly to the battery and we'll be able to watch movies for a, a heck of a long time so again, hopefully that helps you guys out. If for any reason there's anything that you need as far as being able to, like if it's not raining in your area, guys, if you're in Orlando, see if you can find one of these. If not, go to the car section and pick one of these up. If you're not handy with wiring, your other tip that you can do is pick one of these up. Pick up the most expensive one that you can and then pick up a 150 watt converter. 150 watt doesn't give you much, but you can at least charge your phone, you could plug in your modem or your wireless router. Hopefully you have an all-in-one unit and you're good. Also pick up a couple of surge protectors. And again, if you're running a generator uh, like I am in a garage, please don't be an idiot. Make sure your exhaust is going outside of the window. Uh, and even if you're doing that, you want to make sure you have a carbon monoxide detector. But hopefully that helps out again. We have no power here. No idea why the power is dead uh, other than we did hear a transformer blow up. We have old transformers all around this area. Uh, this is a special message to Sprint for telling me that, oh yeah, we uh, don't have uh, any cell signal anywhere in the state, which is not true. And then they say that I have overages. So actually I'll show you right now what Sprint said, since you guys are here paying attention. If you guys wanna be pissed for a minute. Let's see, hang on one sec. Also, I may or may have not downloaded some movies illegally. Got to keep myself entertained with movies, so... Torrent away. I do not give a crap. Seriously. All right. 
Ah, oh, so yeah, another thing, your overcharges are going to be waived because of the inconvenience. Uh, some areas may have service, others be affected. We don't have overcharges, we're an unlimited plan, and here they are backpedaling. I was informing you that anyone affected. Great, so give me a credit. Let me explain to you why I'm not taking pity on Sprint here. Yes, we're in the middle of a hurricane and crap happens, so I get it. Okay, not everybody can have perfect service right now. But Winter Haven only has one tower because of a stupid bald eagle. Uh, and the government will not let Sprint touch that tower. Now, we have had plenty of chances to be able to get that settled or Sprint where they can work with other people, and they haven't. Oh, last thing. If you're running a generator, all the, house, all the light bulbs here are LED. You're going to get a lot of flickering, and you may lose an LED. Remember, when you're running a generator, if it's not like a really high-quality one, and by high-quality, ending at 20 kW diesel with a good voltage rectifier on it, you're going to see, it's kind of hard to see here, but the lights are blinking a little bit. Your microwave's not going to work. Uh, in layman's terms, frequency doesn't match. Dirty power is what a lot of people will call it. So we've got a lot of dirty power right now running through the house, but at least enough that it's protecting most or running most things. Excuse me. Now regarding that, uh, you have to be careful. Like for example, refrigerators and your deep freezers, for the most part, that can run on dirty power. Um, your TV... I would not recommend running your TV on it. Regarding your laptop and other things, it's not an issue. The issue is usually that, again, you've got dirty power, but luckily you've got this amazing little transformer in here that converts your power from 120 volts AC to 12 volts DC. In the case of TVs, that's a very expensive power supply to replace, and it's usually embedded in the main PCB, so you don't want to ruin that. If I ruin the power supply for this, it's 12 bucks on Amazon that shouldn't be an issue not to mention that devices like your laptops and stuff if you have them on a generator it's not an issue because even if you get a low well basically a brownout you get a low power surge in there your battery pretty much rectifies that power so again hopefully that helps you guys out stay safe good luck god bless